a tiny offshore island <laughs> which no longer has any pretensions to be in a first division world power? Bloody rubbish! <laughs> What's the matter? This paper, a bloody Labour rag! Oh, it's the last time that paper comes in this house! <laughs> no, you don't want to read it neither. Bloody Labour rag, bloody anti-British rag! Well, what are you talking about? Not it's bad enough that Wilson inviting your cosy gin over here in the first place, isn't it? <laughs> now your Labour press turning traitor on us. What are you talking about turning traitor on us? Traitor all your statements, that's what I'm talking about. Traitor all your statements. Look. Hey. Look. <laughs> Read that, look. A tiny offshore island. That's a Great Britain oh, they're alluding at, yeah. isn't it? Great Britain, offshore island. Off what bloody shore, eh? Off the what shore? Oh, bloody. No longer a first division wall power. Bloody cheek. Well, it's right. We're not. We're no longer a first division power anymore. Not? Not you, bullshit basket. Look, this country, hey, it's country had the finest empire the world has ever seen. Till you all actually got in and give it all away, oh, bloody old fool. Get Never off. mind, get off, sonny. The British lion. She may appear to be a slumber. <laughs> she may appear to be having a little doze there. <laughs> But let any of your smelly foreigners pull her tail, she'll have their heads off double quick, don't you worry. Oh, blimey. It's disgusting, that isn't it? Disgusting. Blimey, inviting that cosy gin over here and then writing things like that in a paper for him to read? Blimey sauce. Well, it's true, it's true. Look, forget your empire, we haven't got it anymore. No, we ain't, thanks to your lot. Look, God, but look, if Ackley hadn't have given them countries their independence, they'd have taken it for themselves. Yeah, I'd like to see them yeah. try. Yeah, like him Smith took independence, yeah. didn't he? Like yeah. he took his own independence. Yeah. What do we do about him then, Dad? Nothing. Yeah. Just a bit. Ian Smith. Yeah. Ian Smith is loyal to the crowd, isn't he? <laughs> well, he said so. Yeah, he might have said so. He is still loyal to Her Majesty the Queen and the Tory party. Oh. Hey, Smith, shut up. The only one, <laughs> the only one that Ian Smith is against is old twit Face Wilson, your darling Alice. <laughs> cobblers. No more about cobblers. Listen. <laughs> Smith is a hero. That's How what he is. Look, all he's trying, what he is trying to do, see, is to protect British territory against a bunch of wogs. <laughs> <laughs> we fought for that land out there, didn't we? British troops laid down their lives to get that, didn't they? And all your Ian Wilson is trying to do is to stop Harold Wilson giving it back to the Coons. <laughs> so bigoted, isn't he? Yeah. He's so prejudiced. I mean, it's not even the truth. Mm. You don't even know the facts. No facts? Yes, the facts. No, don't talk to me no. about facts because I know the facts, oh, do yeah. I? Your darling Harold Wilson sits up there in that Downing Street yeah. and he dares to allude that that Ian Smith is one of the frightened men of Rhodesia. Which he is. Yeah. Well, for your information, Shirley Temple, <laughs> Ian Smith... <laughs> Ian Smith was a fighter pilot during the last war. Oh, super! In the RAF he was. Oh. Shot down in his Spitfire twice he was. Well, he wasn't very good then, was he? Look, <laughs> where, was your, where was your darling Harold then, eh? Where was old Moonface when the bullets started to fly, eh? <laughs> down a bloody shelter, I suppose, with his bleating tin hat on. <laughs> Can you? you don't have to talk a lot of codswallop. Never mind codswallop, you comrade. Talk, talk, Never mind. Answer the question. Well, ask Answer. Me. Ask Where me. was Harold Wilson, eh? I don't know. Do no, of course you don't know. Of course you don't know. Give us that. <laughs> Wherever he was, he was quiet as a little mouse then, wasn't he, eh? Hey, I bet he was in the service somewhere doing Get his off. thing. Get I bet off. he was. Look, if he'd have been in the army doing anything worth boasting about, we'd be hearing about it now, don't you worry. <laughs> yeah, in fact, when he's talking about himself, he was probably a conchy like your blooming Herbert. <coughs> Herbert, you're Herbert. Herbert too. Herbert bloody Morrison. <laughs> Conscientious objector in the First World War and a member of the War Cabinet in a second lot. Broad <laughs> thinking, Batman. Typical of your Labour Party, that, ain't it, eh? All against the war when there's a danger of him being called up in 1914 
But the minute he gets to hold a carry a rifle, he's all for it, calling everyone else up, isn't he? Here you are. See? Only, only bundle him in that Claridge's hotel, ain't they? Oh, uh, but Morrison. <laughs> no, cosy, Junior Silly Moo. Look! <laughs> Give him old floor to himself, they have. And who pays for that? Hey, who pays for it? Us, muggins is. <laughs> it's all right for you to laugh, Missy. We're supposed to be having a severe restraint, innit? Yeah. But no, they can bring him over here, bang him in the best hotel in London, and knock him up at our expense! Oh, God, blimey. Look, where'd you expect him to put him? Eh? I mean, he's head of a state, isn't he? Eh? Where'd you expect them to bung him? Routon House? No. <laughs> they oughtn't have brought him over here in the first place. That's what I'm saying. That's oh. the point I'm trying to make. Look, they brought him over here to try and get an yeah. understanding. Yeah, and to come to an agreement and talk to each other. Agreement? Yeah. Yes, because it's better to try and see people's point of view than it is to fight them, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, well, your dad don't think that way, do he? No. no. He'd soon a row with people, he? Yes, son. <laughs> I mean, he ain't spoke to him next door for three months, has he? Look, I want... All because that man put up a new fence. Look, yeah. the point I'm... Well, I mean, the old one was a disgrace. <laughs> <laughs> and that man puts up a new one you... at his own expense. Yeah, will you... And it upsets him. Will you shut up, you silly moo? <laughs> no, I mean, it's all right him bunging up new fences, isn't it? Hey! But I ain't daft, you know. I'm bloody stupid. No, but you do a very good imitation. <laughs> uh, when he bunged up his new fence, see, he only moved it all over this way, didn't he? And pinched two inches off of our garden. <laughs> two inches? <laughs> all right, sit there mocking. Two inches is two inches, isn't it? I know that, Dad. All right, now listen, I'll ask you a question. Yes. What? What is the most valuable commodity in a country today? I don't know, sir. What is the most valuable commodity in the country today? Land, isn't it? Land! Land? Yeah. Two inches of black dirt! How much do you think you get for that, Dad? No, that's not the point, is it? Okay. That's not the point, because he's got no right grabbing my land off of me like that, oh. because I am the accredited leaseholder here, aren't I? I, Alfred Edward Garnett. Esquire. Oh, oh. <laughs> the accredited leaseholder under His Grace the Duke of Westminster, the rightful overlord according to the Domesday Book. <laughs> <laughs> and that smelly old bodger's got no right nicking my land all for me. No right at all. <laughs> Same as that cosy gin's got no right coming over here. See, Wilson. Blimey, you back on that again? Why, oh, Lord? It's a front, isn't it? It's, it's a front to your President Johnson. I mean, look, look, what's that man gonna think, eh? I mean, what's that man gonna think? Seeing Cozygen over here being feted and made a fuss of but Wilson and them are loggerheads. I mean, if Wilson, if Wilson was, if Wilson was to invite anyone over here for a free knock up, ought to be a Johnson, didn't it? Hey, but, I mean, he ain't never invited him over here. Not oh, once he ain't. Oh. And, and they're supposed to be our allies. I mean, I'll put it to you. Look, I'll put it to you. Look, how do you think that man's going to feel? How do you think Johnson is going to feel, eh, being left out of it all like that? I mean, look, I'm... I mean, I mean... He, he, he invited Wilson over there, didn't he? Noshed him up marvellous, he did. So you think the least Wilson would do is return a compliment and invite him back over here for a free do. If he had any manners, he would have, but oh, no. No! He'd sooner invite Comrade Cozy Jim, wouldn't he? Over here. Let him poke his big Russian nose about all over the country. <laughs> ferreting out our secrets. Secrets? What secrets? God blimey, what have we got that the Russians want? Never you mind, Sonny Jim, never you mind. But we ain't got nothing, have we? No! <laughs> well, what do you think Cozy Jim's doing over here, then? Oh. Ain't come over the bloody weather, is he? He's over here because Mr Wilson invited him over, that's Hello. why. Yeah, because fortunately for us and the rest of the world, Al Wilson's not as stupid and as bigoted as you are. No. But because, as it says here, that, that <laughs> socialist rag, piffle! Because, as it says here, he is trying to influence what the super giants of Russia and America are thinking. Because if they sneeze, we catch a cold. Because if they make the wrong decisions, we say, God help us. Because if they press the wrong buttons, we say goodbye. That's why he's invited them over. Yes. Rubbish. 
Rubbish! Look, I know. I know why Crafty Harold invited Cozygin over here. Oh, see? do you? Because he's hoping old Cozygin will invite him back over there for another free holiday, isn't it? Jeez. He's getting tired of going up to silly hours, isn't he? A bit bored with it. <laughs> wants a change, doesn't he? Wants a couple of. He wants a couple of buckshee bunks up the Black Sea. That's what he's oh, after. Rubbish. It is not rubbish, it is. is it? Because that's why him and Brown shot off to France, wanted to see the Gaul, and then over to Rome to see the Pope. And how much currency money you think they took with them, eh? <laughs> eh? Well, but it weren't no 50 quid. What? But the way they live it up there. Oh, blimey, I ain't daft, you know. What? You invite me and George, your holiness, over to your place for a buckshee weekend, <laughs> and we'll do the same for you. We'll invite you over to our place. Oh, blimey, it's all part of your perks, innit? It's all your international junketings. I'll <laughs> tell you, Sonny, though. I'll tell you, Sonny. His holiness won't be so bloody pleased when he finds out he's got to stay up Claridge's hotel and sleep in the same bed old cosy gin slept in. <laughs> they changed the sheets. <laughs> I know they changed the sheets, don't I? But his holiness will want that room fumigated before he'll go in there after cosy gin. Fumigated? Yeah, of course he will. You got something wrong with him, then? Who? <laughs> oh. How's he doing? Well, he's godless, isn't he? Utterly godless. Same as that atheistic antichrist scarce get over there is. <laughs> and that blighter Wilson has got the cheek to, to expect a queen to meet him. Hey? I mean, how's, how's she gonna feel, eh? I mean, put, your, put yourself in that woman's boots. How is she gonna feel? <laughs> Having a shake his hand, eh? He handed a godless. <laughs> and her descending from him. <laughs> from your gods. She is a direct descendant from your gods, isn't she? <laughs> Who is? Who is? Her Majesty the Queen is! Oh, yeah. <laughs> All your royals are, sonny boy, because that's where you get your divine right of kings and queens from, isn't it? Rubbish! Piffle! Not piffle rubbish at all, <laughs> sonny boy, because I can prove it, can't oh, I? Yeah. Oh, I can prove it. Got my little book here and I'll show you. Here you are. Oh, well, uh -huh. I well, your dad's done a bit of reading, he has. Yeah. Oh, I am depending. <laughs> <laughs> He's potty. Now, my potty, here. Yeah. Look, see? That's by your Ian Moncrief. Who's he? Unicorn. Right? Unicorn! Unicorn Percy Weaver of Arms. <laughs> Look, don't mind about that. Look, here. Yeah. See? Now, there is a match of the Queen, right? Got it? Now. Come up the ladder, don't you? All the way up here. Beatrice, Sancha, Sancha, Saida, to your Muhammad. <laughs> and he is one of your gods, and she is descended directly from him. Yeah, let's have a look. Yeah. Mohammed. Hey, by, he's by God, he's right, you know. Yeah. But, uh, wasn't he one of your coons? <laughs> dare you! <laughs> but it's right! Look! That man is white! As white as you or me! All your gods are white! <laughs> <laughs> Look, you can see! He's as black as the Ace of Spades, you can see that! <laughs> Ignorant scars git! Anyone who's been out and not climbing it for a long time are bound to get a suntan, ain't they? <laughs> Sunburn on him. Sunburn. Yeah. Sunburn. Look at him. He's one of your sunburns, isn't he? Hey, yeah, uh, Rick. If the Queen is a direct descendant from Ahmed, what do you reckon that makes her then, eh? Take that back. I'll swing for you. Take it back. I'll swing. Queen, pull yourself together. Make them kind of jokes in front of me. Darcy, <laughs> ugly swine. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry joking. Uh, 
You ain't fit to be her subject, you ain't. You ought to be banished from the realm. That's what you ought. He said he's sorry. Sorry? Make him bloody sorry, I would. You bring the birch back, give him a good flogging. It's typical of his party, isn't it, eh? No respect for Her Majesty the Queen. Insult her! It's all they can do! Oh, Wilson, don't insult her. He don't do that. Oh, they seem to get on very well together, early and <laughs> Of course they do. I bet she prefers them to some of the drips in your party. Yeah, well, they wouldn't yeah. insult her, would they? Hey, I mean, they wouldn't bring anti royalists like Cozy, you know, over here and expect her to meet him. Hey, and then, and then write tripe like that in the papers, hey? All that tripe in the paper, and, and for him to laugh at. Look at it. Look. Look. No longer a First Division world power. No. Why not? No. No. Well, let your rusty start signing and I'll soon find out what we are. Look. <laughs> uh, we're not. We're not a First Division world power anymore. I mean, it's like your West Ham football club. I mean, that's not really a First Division football team anymore, is it? Harry Scars Bennett, you! They'd give your team a bloody good hiding any time, wouldn't they? Oh, yeah. Well, they've got to do it yet, mate, and I'm telling you, talking about good hidings, you couldn't even give Third Division Little Swindon a good hiding. In fact, they give you one. Any team can have a bit of bad luck, can not I? Bad luck? But that was bad football. Yeah, well, what's your team ever done, eh? Load of scarce rubbish. Uh, first Division champions. Oh. Cup winners the year after. Flute. First Division champions again. Flute. They'll win the league this year and probably the Cup as well. In fact, this could be the year of the double. <laughs> double? <laughs> double bloody nothing. What about England? 1940, eh? Who were they playing? We wasn't playing, Sonny. We was fighting 1940 for our lives. Oh, Back up against the wall. Like West Ham are now. The Dunkirk spirit, son. Oh, God. <laughs> hey? Remember them days, Elves? Dunkirk. All them little boats there. And that was so many as had it and given it back to, as to what's just a few. Hey? <laughs> Churchill's words. Well, more or less. <laughs> Our darkest hour, wasn't it? We're forming the beaches, we're fighting. <laughs> but did we give in? You wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the bitter ashes of defeat nah. will come the victory. Nah. It's the same with them West Ham lads, because every time young Robert Moore leads them lads out onto the pitch, he's conscious of what he's got on his chest. <laughs> <laughs> This OBE, you silly little twit! Oh, I don't know. Twit, you go on about that OBE. Anyone to think you won it? Um, well, I'm proud of them lads, and I'm proud of young Bobby Moore. Proud of my team. And proud of what that lad has done for this country. Anyway, uh, it was Wilson who gave him that. No, it wasn't, Mr. Clever Dick. Yes, it no, that's where you're wrong, see. Because, because your monarch. Your monarch is the only one that's allowed to give out your decorations, see? It's your monarch what gives you the tap on the shoulder, isn't it? No, but Bobby Moore didn't get a tap on the shoulder, did he? No, but he was decorated by Her Majesty the Queen, wasn't he? Which is much the same thing. Oh. Yeah. And Harold Wilson picked him up for it. Look. No, just a minute. You look for a change. Let somebody else get a word in with you. Look. The monarch gives out the award, yeah, that's right. But it's the Prime Minister who picks him out for her. And she does as she's told, and you know that as well as I do. Are you starting on her again? No problem, I'm not starting on anybody. Look, the Prime Minister prepares a list, and he submits it to the Queen. She does as she's told, and that's All it. right, all right. Look, if it was Harold Wilson, I'd give Bobby Moore his OBE. All I can say is the only decent thing he's done since he's been up there in that darning street. <laughs> Oh, there they are then. Wilson and old Kasegan. Mm -hmm. God blimey, look who's with them! This evening. David Frostop, oh, isn't it? The right honourable George Brown MP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blimey, look what he's doing now. Look! Minute, he's only holding his hand, isn't he? Right. Oh, blimey, what do they look like? <laughs> the Dolly sisters, that's the junior look like. <laughs> look at them. Boo! Oh, leave Boo. them alone. They're engaged. Boo! What's Boo. the matter with you? They can't 
hear you. No, but I will tomorrow, girl, because I'm going up that Downing Street. I'm not going to let them, let them know there's still people in this world who've got opinions who ain't frightened to have a go. Boo! Up here, sir! That's where he lives. In there, does he? Yeah. Mm. Nice house, isn't it? Say, it's only terrorist, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, ain't he's? Goes with a job, doesn't it? It's all part of the perks. I mean, his own house ain't nothing like that. All he's got is a pokey two up and two down in Hampstead. <laughs> See, his old Mac would have said he ain't never had it so good. Who lives next door to him? Well, number 11. That's your Callaghan, eh? That's your Chancellor the Exchequer. Looks after all the country's money, see? See, and the reason... The reason a Prime Minister has him living next door, see, is so he can keep an eye on him. Make sure he don't make off with a loop. <laughs> Do a moonlight. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose another thing, too. It's handy for the Prime Minister if he wants a sublight. <laughs> What? Well, you know, middle of the week, if he's a bit short, like, he can nip in next door and borrow a few bob. You're talking about what he earns and what he fiddles on the side. Get on. <laughs> yeah, I like their curtains better. Who's? Number 11's look a bit posher, don't they? Yeah, well, I wouldn't be surprised if the Maudlins put them up before they left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, don't seem to be much life going on in there, does there? No. Sleeping it off, I reckon. Oh. <laughs> Wilson! Probably had a skimple last night. <laughs> Blimey, them Russians are big drinkers, you know. Pigs with a drink, they are. Huh? <laughs> oh, come on, I don't reckon Cozy Gin's in there. Let's go up the palace, see if we can catch him up there. <laughs> Want it? <laughs> I'm gonna get a boo in it and somehow. I'm not going to boo. Show myself up. No one's asking you to boo, are they? Come on. There you are. There you are. That's where she lives. That's where she is. Oh, Majesty the Queen. It's a big house just for her and him, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, of course. A bit better than number 10, isn't it? Eh? Hey? Of course. I bet old Wilson, that's the house he's got his eyes on, really, you know. <laughs> they bloody well gonna get it, is he? Yeah, must take a lot of cleaning. She don't do it herself, do she? <laughs> got thousands of servants in there. Nights for the kids, too. All that ground. Yeah. What's he say? It's a changing of the guard, isn't it? Do that every morning, they do. Do they? Yeah. Every morning? Yeah. Oh. It's hard on her, isn't it, that noise every morning? <laughs> <laughs> and old Philip, eh? If he's had a skim for the night before, eh? <laughs> oh, blimey. Look at them lads, eh? Look at them. Oh, blimey. Give old Cozy Gin something to think about, will it, eh? Give him some idea what he's up against. Give him some idea who he's arguing with, eh? The mind he's at them, Bob. Look at them. Look at them, lads. <laughs> What do you think? Uh, you like it? It's too much. It looks ridiculous. What are you talking about? It's all the gear, eh? Oh, I don't mind. Well, everybody's wearing them. Yeah, well, everyone might be wearing them up in Chelsea, but they're not wearing them down here in Wapping, are they? <laughs> well, you can't go out and that. Everyone will laugh at you. Oh, look at you. So uncool. Hey, it's not that. I'm cool, all right. But if you go out and that, I'm not coming with you. I don't know. Put a kettle on, go with... <laughs> <laughs> you scars git! <laughs> What's the matter? Take that uniform off or get out of this house! <laughs> what 
what you're talking about. Everyone's red. Yeah? <laughs> Look, if old Cozy Jim's Pete sees people like you walking about the country dressed like that, he's going to think it's our bloody army, isn't he? <laughs> He'll be over here tomorrow. Take that uniform off. Get off. Right. You don't take it off. Yeah. I'm going to rip it off you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Damn it all! Hey, don't make them like that nowadays, do you? Take that off! Crying Avenue insulting Her Majesty the Queen up the high street! Oh, I beg your pardon, Mama. Right. <laughs> I'll make sure you don't leave this house oh, wearing that yeah. uniform. Yeah. Really? Hey, just hey. a minute. Howdy. <laughs> 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 